John, thank you very much. It's now 626 on this Thursday morning. We are joined once again by the Imagination Station. They were here a month ago. We have Jeff Stevenson back with us, our scientists there on hand every day. First off, thanks for coming back. Oh, of course. Yeah, we had such a great time last time. We said we had to come here and show you a little bit of science about flammable vapors. And you know, I'm all about some fire, though it seems a little dangerous to me. And oh, this no, is it's not dangerous. Hey, let, me, okay. let me just show you really quick what we're going to do. Um, I have this balloon here, and we're going to go ahead. Yeah, if you want to put those on. <laughs> Doing um, this now. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just ignite that. And what you'll see is we're actually able to ignite those flammable vapors. All right, and what I had inside <laughs> that balloon was actually hydrogen. All right, I had okay. just hydrogen gas in there, which is a flammable combustible fuel. And we use this, this flammable fuel to talk about science all of the time, all right? And the really big thing we want to talk about is safety. Of, of course, always. Always, always. That's always our biggest concern. And so right now, what's the holiday coming up on Monday? It's Labor Day. Labor Day, right? Mm -hmm. And so I know that when I'm over on Labor Day, I have to get my lawn mowed, right? Mm -hmm. I have to get the grill ready. Of course. And there's a lot of things people don't think about that are actually really important with safety because there can be things like flammable liquids, like if you're filling your lawn mower, right, with gasoline. Of course, I, I wouldn't have thought about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of people will fill their lawnmower in their garage uh -huh. or in their shed or something like that. I'm going to show you what, some safety concerns that can happen. So this is going to be a little spilled fuel. Okay, so do listen up this morning. Do take a look. And look how look how small amount this fuel Not is. Not much at all. Not much at all. If you spilled this much, you know, octane, right? Uh, you know, on your gr garage floor, you probably wouldn't think too much about it. This is hexane. It's a little bit different, uh -huh. but very, very similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it right up here at the top of my balloon. Uh -huh. Okay, and it's going to travel down this ramp. And we're going to see what happens. Happens. Are you ready? I okay. think so. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to come over here. And you can see there's a little ignition source. Ah! Woo! All right, all right, all right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So this is kind of, let me put this out for you. Excellent. All right, so this is a little, this is a little bit of a, a demonstration here because this balloon up here um, represented like your full lawnmower, right, which is completely full. And this, could, this right here, this flame right here, mm -hmm. could have been, let's say, a broken outlet or a malfunctioning power tool that was in your garage. And even though there's just a tiny bit of liquid, it's able to follow that source all the way back to where it came from. So you can go from an ignition source, maybe uh, some sort of spark in your mm -hmm. garage, up to your full fuel source. Something that would seem so small, not that big of a deal, but really yeah. could create, I mean, could be a disaster. And it's just the vapors. There actually wasn't enough liquid to follow all the way down this ramp. It ended up right about here, ended up stop mm -hmm. becoming a liquid and start becoming a vapor. vapor. Okay. Well, and you can check this out at 1.30 every day there at Imagination yeah, Station. Yeah, 1.30, we're always doing this demonstration. We're talking about a bunch of other combustion demonstrations, mm -hmm. talking about safety, uh, importance of chemistry, everything like that. I love, again, you can get a lesson there all day, every day. And I also want to make note this morning that you all will be closing on the 8th, September 8th, and yes. then opening back up on the 28th with more exciting items there on hand at Imagination Yes, Station. yes, we have a lot of cleaning and some, some kind of different moving stuff around mm -hmm. that's going to be going on. So if you need to come check us out before we close, which Monday is your last chance, so definitely come check us out Monday. It's going to be a ton of fun that day. So um, if we'll you have the day see. off, come check us out. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take a break for a minute because my heart is racing right now. <laughs> oh, when we come fine. back, no. we'll have a look at, <laughs> at the null rocket. So you'll want to stick with us for the 630 half hour. We yeah. do have a new half hour coming up after this break.